chase I need scripts, I need haste After that boy, I need grace I need bones, that's the way I need loans with no break I am chosen, I am great After that boy, I need space But I need space respects me my wife honors me as her head the head and the body are different the head is over top of the body that's my role inside that relationship it's not two heads on one body so if you if you and your wife are two heads then y'all just a strange being together you see what I'm saying none of the commandments are done away with has anybody been taught that God's laws are done away with nobody's been taught that okay well, not, the, not the real law in Christianity, I was taught that God's laws were done away with. That we don't. Okay. All right. Maybe y'all learned a different Christianity than me. All right. We're, we're... In Christianity, yeah. they, like they'll teach you that in certain. Like I've been trying to teach my son. Yeah. Like, uh, the white people bow is different from our bow. Like we was born a whole different. Like we was not Christianity from the get go. That's right. That was not it. You know what I'm saying? We was Israelites. There you go. You know what I'm saying? Oh, praise so you know I tried I'm trying to tell my son that we was Israelites. We was not Christianity. And like, but his mama don't like you know, it's people that they ain't trying to listen to that shit. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Excuse my language, but for real, you know, it's people ain't trying to listen to that. Right. They're not trying to hear none of that. Christianity, God was white, Jesus saved, do 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 You know what I'm saying? And it's not what happened. And he ain't white. We don't even know. It could be a sheep. You know what, what, what could be a sheep? God. Man, sit your ass down. <laughs> I love. I'm. I'm. My little sheep. Oh, okay. It could be a sheep. All right. We, all right, let, all right let, me, let me. You believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible? Yeah. All right. We gonna, let me, let me explain that. It could be a sheep though. Like it it's, don't it's have not. to be a man. It does. It don't have to. It does. Be, how, how can it be a man if a woman? creates everything. Oh, so you've been, you've been yeah. dabbling in a little Egyptology too though, right? Exactly. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I can tell. I mean, yeah. But, exactly. And hey, look, it, it takes it, both of us. Everybody listen up, it listen up, listen up. We're gonna, us, We're gonna let the Bible speak. We're gonna let the Bible speak. We're gonna let the Bible speak. Wait out. We're gonna let the Bible speak. For real, um, she could have been. Go ahead and bring that out. Go to, uh, go to John. Go to John chapter 14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The same thing is. Give me a second to respond to that. I got you. You, you said you believe in the Bible, though. Yeah, she could have been the same thing as the I got you. John chapter 14, I think I went with verse 9. Yeah, verse 9. All right, listen to this. Y'all listen up. Listen good. John chapter 14, verse 9. So the, the question is, what is the gender? of the Most High God, right? Well, we already know that the scriptures refer to the Most High God as a father, and we've never seen a father that's a woman, right? So that's some common sense, but read that. Jesus saith unto him, have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me have seen the Father. So if we've seen Christ, we've seen the Father. So the question is, what's the gender of the Father? Well, what was the gender of Christ? Christ was what? A man, right? That's what that's what you that's but this is what the book that you believe says. The book that you believe says that Christ was a man, right? Yeah. Right? And if you've seen Christ, you've seen the Father. So that means you've seen a what? Another what? Another man, brother. Right. Another man. Read. And how sayest thou then? Show us the Father. I'm gonna show you the Father though. Go to Daniel chapter seven. Bring it out. Daniel chapter seven. The Bible's very specific, man. That that's Egyptology that wants to worship the white the I'm sorry, the woman right. as God, brother. That that's that's not how we get down. The man was created first. Right. And then the woman was created for the man. There's no possible way that a woman could be God. A woman has a, a menstrual cycle every thirty days to remind her who her head is. Right. Read this. Daniel chapter 7 verse 9 uh -huh. I beheld till the thrones were cast down uh -huh. and the ancient of days did sit uh -huh. whose garment was white as snow and the hair of his head whoa, whoa. 
put an emphasis on the gender. Read. And the hair of his head, the hair of his head, we're speaking about God, the Most High God right now, read. Like the pure wool. Like the pure wool. The Bible's real plain. You got the Most High God, you got his son. And the hair on his head right. was like the pure wool. The Most High God was a man. Right. The Most High God was a man. There's no question about that. Uh, shoot. Let's, yeah, yeah, we can go to Exodus 15. Let's still talk about Christ, but read. Exodus chapter 15, verse 3. Uh -huh. The Lord is a man of war. Uh -huh. The Lord is his name. All right, go to... Uh, yeah, it was in First Timothy. So hopefully nobody got confused with any of that, man. The Most High God is a man. The woman's not God. Right. She was created to serve the gods of the earth. Right. He said he said created to her life with a man. All right, go to... How did, the, how did the first man get here? Through God. God created everything. Through God? Yeah, he created everything. So not through a woman. How, I mean, how else did he create her? Oh, I mean, but that's a mystical. I, I can't go into all that. You feel me? I don't know nothing about all that. I'm going to show you how the first Wait, man was created. I'm saying is that, bro, you need both. Yeah, yeah. So what I'm teaching yeah. him is that both, I'm a god, and your woman is a god. So therefore, you treat her like you should be treated. Okay. And you're going to be treated. If you want to be treated like a god, she should be treated like a god. And like a goddess, she right? Like a goddess. She's she gonna different. help you. She, you can't create life by yourself. Right. Yeah. We right. Can't. You can't got them. And boom, next thing you go. Pop up. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not gonna happen. Right. So therefore, she a god too, a goddess, or whatever you want to call it. Right, we, we we can rock with that for the for the sake of today. We can rock with a goddess. You know we can rock with a god. But to say that she's a god means that you and her are the same. Right. And men and women aren't equal. We aren't equal. Uh, we are equal. No, how not we equal. not equal? The man was made first. How can you? Nah, go to. Uh, but yeah, we'll go to Judges. I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures. I'm going to give you a couple of scriptures. Let's bring this up. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. And the Lord God for man of the dust of the ground. Hey, brother, listen, 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 listen. We're going to deal with the scriptures. Everything, everything that you're saying is addressed in the scriptures already, so we can go ahead and deal with it. So the first thing we're going to deal with is how the first man was created. If men, and, if men and women were created equal, then they would have been created together. Right. That didn't happen. Read. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Read out. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Oh, man, you want to worship the woman so you're going to run away now? <laughs> yeah, you are. If you call a woman a guy, you worshiping women, bro. No, I'm telling my son that that, mom, that, that, that female is equal to you. There's no such she thing as equality not. between men and women. That's show, That's me a, crazy. show me a scripture that says that men and women are equal. I'm not talking about the Bible. I'm, I don't you want said you believe in the Bible, so you got to show me a scripture. The Bible, if a man speak, he got to speak as the I oracles of God. Married, That's married. right. Give me that scripture. Are you, are you married? married? Yeah, I'm married. How long? It don't matter how long. I'm married. And me and my woman ain't equal. Huh? You say she equal to you. You just said no, women not side. equal to you. They're not equal, brother. Damn. You just said, said your wife is married. You just said. Then, yeah, you you asked me if I'm married. I said yes. And then you say she's not equal. We're not equal. I'm over her. Give me give me first Corinthians eleven. Give me I'm I'm over my wife. I'm the head of my wife. My wife respects me. My wife honors me as her head. The right. head and the body are different. The head is over top of the body. That's my role inside that relationship. It's not right. two heads on one body. Right. So if you if you and your wife are two heads, then y'all just a strange being together. You see what I'm saying? Give me 1 Corinthians 11. Read. Listen 1 up. Corinthians. Listen, up, man. listen, listen. Let's start Just listen, bro. Chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. Is Christ equal to his father, the Most High God? No. He's the son of God. Right. Are you and your son equal? No. No. He came forth out of you. That's right. He's not your equal. Huh? He's going to be better. All right, but he's not equal to you. He may do better than you in certain things, but he's not your equal. Right. You're over him. He has to listen to you. Right. He has to honor you. That's he right. has to respect you. That's right. You're his head. Read. So that's the same relationship between the Most High God and Christ. Read. And the head of the man, excuse me, and the head of the woman is the man. 
the head of the woman is the man in the same way that the head of Christ is God. That's right. So, right. I, got, I, can, I can tell my wife what Start. to do and what not to do. Yes. Right. That's fucking crazy. Well, so, so the Bible's crazy or you crazy? It's fucking crazy. Either you, either you crazy or the Bible's crazy. But I can show you what you're asking in the scriptures. You just got to humble yourself. Stay that's right there. The, that's stay the right head, there. Stay right there. Finish that up. You gotta listen, listen up, brother. I, I still lead. I lead my family. You can't but be, I let her do you can't what be she wants to can't, do. You can't be a leader if she want to go to work There's or no if she want to go to school, I let her go to school. All right, really. You you do what you 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 what? I let her go to school. You let her. Then you like go. I'm like you the head, brother. You, you the head, brother. Red. And the head of Christ is God. So there's an order. There's a hierarchy that's set up. There's the Most High God. There's Christ. There's man. And there's women. And then the children come after that. That's the order that's established. But we can go to Numbers chapter 30. We can show you some stuff. That's right. What you got? Nope. Yeah, we can we can do that. Verse eight. Verse 8, for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. The man was not created of a woman first. God created man from the dust of the ground. Right. He created man. And then he took a rib from man to create a woman. Right. And then thereafter, men and women came together to create new children. But men and women have never been equal from the beginning. Right. Me and my me and my woman not equal. We don't we don't even look the same. I wear pants in the relationship and in real life. She wears a dress. Right. I have a penis. She has a vagina. Right. Right. I have a chest. She has breasts. That's right. right. I have short hair. She has long hair. We're not equal. We're not equal. We used to scream black power while heroin was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. I U I C has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.